Hello everyone, welcome to another of my Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination videos. This is part of the Distress colour combination playlist or series where we're working through each of the colours alphabetically. We're obviously up to the S's now um, and we are looking at swatching each colour. What does it really look like compared to other colours in the range? And then we are doing two colour combinations with each one. In fact, some of the colours I've done three colour combinations as well. So check back the playlist. I'll make sure I link that at the end for you. So we're looking at shabby shutters today. Now, firstly, I have to say apologies for the state of my brushes. They are all going in the wash after this video. Basically, I'm in um, the middle of a studio move at the moment and where everything is usually, all my brushes are usually hung up on the wall. They're all chucked in a basket at the moment and they're all getting their handles are getting dirty from other bristles and it's really driving me crazy. So they're all going in the washing machine. I will be documenting that so you can see how to do that uh, in a short on my channel as well. So let's look at shabby shutters. Um, let's bring in a blending mat. Now the blending mat, the labels, the um, colour chart as well. And of course, anything else that I'm using, including blending brushes, is all linked down below for you. I get so many questions about where did I get things. Just check the description and I've linked everything. If there's anything I haven't linked, apologies. Uh, it will certainly be in one of the other colour combination videos. So let's first of all swatch this. Now I'm going to go in the middle because I'm considering my first colour combination. Now this is a lovely pale green. Um, I must admit the label and the ink pad are very different shades. So I think this is more like the ink pad than the label. So if we bring over the label for Shabby Shutters and we bring that swatch, you can see it's much more yellow and in I think much darker as well. So uh, there is a difference to the label. I think there always is a slight difference to the label because of course, Printers can only print as close as possible, um, but this one is quite a way off compared to some that have been really quite close. Um, of course, the ink pad, you always expect that to be darker than the swatch. Now let's come along to the color chart. Now you can download this completely free of charge. I don't ask for anything for it. It's on my blog. Um, you can download it. It's actually a completely blank chart that you fill in at home and there's a template to be able to get the perfect size squares but there is also another chart on there that's already filled in that's one simple A4 sheet for you if you want to um, download that one as well. So let's take a look. Shabby shutters we have here. Um, now crushed olive is very very similar, very similar. A slightly darker shade, maybe a little more yellow to it. Um, peeled paint is a darker shade of this and I'm actually going to be using this in one of my colour combinations. Coming down we've also got uh, bundled sage is quite similar although more on the blue tones, more of a bluey green than a yellow. I think forest moss is always nearer a brown but it's a very dark olive colour. So you can see there's actually some similarities within the colour range there. Because we're getting to the bottom of this one let's just move to the next one. Ah, So then we're going into twisted citron. Not too far off, not massively far off, but Twisted Citron, of course, is much more yellow, citrusy, very, very bright. So there we have it. I think if you don't have shabby shutters at home, but you'd like to try some of these colour combinations, Crushed Olive will work. Peeled Paint I'm using, as I say, but you can certainly mix it with the third colour. And even Bundled Sage you could um, replace with as well. So let's put this to the side. And let's get into that first colour combination. Now, as I say, I'm going to be using peeled paint and I'm also going to be going into tattered rose. Now, I know that my tattered rose um, <laughs> brush needs desperately needs a wash. So this doesn't always blend beautifully. So as you can see, it's not picking up at all. So this is what happens. This is actually really interesting. So can you see what's happened there? Okay, so you've got the bristles are separating there, if I bring in, let's say, this brush here, you can see the difference in the gaps between the bristles. This one's really still quite soft and fluffy. This one is overloaded with ink. You can see I've also got ink from other brushes. So it needs a good wash with warm soapy water to get all of that oxide and possibly ink. I may have picked up some ink with this one, which might be what the reaction is in the bristles. But a good wash with warm soapy water will sort that out. But I will go and grab a new brush for this one. So you can see they're nice soft bristles. This should pick up the colour much better. Now Tattered Rose is a very, very pale colour. We will come to it soon, but you can see the difference there. The ink is transferring really nicely. 
So definitely if you're having trouble, you're thinking, oh, this is a real, really pale colour. It's just not looking like it's blending onto my cardstock. Take a look at your brush. Maybe that your brush needs a wash. So just blending up into the edge of the green there. I want to put a decent amount of the tattered rose down because we've got green going on the other end. So layer this up nice and thick, really covering all areas that are going around in those circles and I'm overlapping the green quite a bit there. I can afford to do that because it is a pale colour, it's not going to completely overwrite and overpower the, um, the shabby shutters. So then moving on to peeled paint the other end. Now this is a darker green as you can see. But I think it's a darker green, but it's not massively different to shabby shutters. It's not too different at all. Again, issues with my brush. This is why they are all going in. I was literally about to put them in the wash, and then I thought, oh, no, I'll get this video done, get this one done, and then I will wash them all. So make sure you check back in a few days when I do my next video to see what my brushes are looking like. Like I say, I will, uh, I will document me washing my brushes as a short so you can see that. Now I'm just going back over with some more shabby shutters to blend that line in. That needs some drying time because you can see the joins there but when that's dried that is going to be a beautiful blend. Dark green into paler green into the pink. So let's pop that to the side. That actually feels very familiar that colour combination. I'm wondering whether maybe I've done that one before. Who knows? Um, I do tend to sort of lean towards certain colours sometimes so it may be that when I was doing let me see no I can't oh peeled paint perhaps maybe I did something similar right so just wiping clean my mat there I'll turn that over give that a wipe also with some uh, dry towel too just to ensure that I've got no water that's going to react with the oxides or the inks so next I'm actually going this time again with a three color combination rather than a four color combination. Usually I'll go three color and four color. For this one, I was looking at uh, adding in purples and lilacs, and I just felt that by adding in a fourth color, I was just doing it because I needed to add in a fourth color and that I wasn't actually doing it to enhance the combination. So for that reason, I've decided to stick with three colors for this one. The first one being the shabby shutters on the end here. This is beautiful if you've got imagery that's something like wisteria or hydrangeas, maybe a stamp or a die and you want to create an ombre background for it, this would be absolutely perfect. You could introduce some blues here as well. Maybe a pale blue between the milled lavender and the shabby shutters might have been nice. Now this is a new brush for the milled lavender as well, for the same reason. I can't wait to have all clean brushes again. I do use them a lot and I should have washed them about three months ago. <laughs> so as you can see, a really pale colour. We actually get a nice sort of new colour between the green and the pale milled lavender there. I've got a little mark on my paper. I don't know what that is. It's nothing to do with the ink. I think that was just a mark. Maybe it's a bit of glue or something. These papers papers tend to come out of my scraps box so you never know what might be in there. Right, let's just give this a little wipe as well. I'm going to go into a darker colour now and we're going to go into really dark dusty concord. Now dusty concord again beautiful. I always call it dusky because it's kind of got this cloudiness to it. It's chalk, very much you can see the chalk within this one or the chalky effect rather, there's no actual chalk within oxides, just putting that out there. Um, and then let's blend with what's left on my brush from the milled lavender. Just going around in circles on this end and I'll gradually work up, always working in small circles. If you work in large circles you'll end up dragging colour where you don't want it. There we go. There. So there's another lovely combination. So these two both need to dry. In fact, I actually need to do a little more work on blending this one down here, I think. Um, so it may be the cardstock. Sometimes the cardstock actually absorbs 
the ink, so the dye element of the oxide so quickly that you just don't get a chance to really blend. Um, I've also got fingerprints in this, so I think I need to have a word with myself today. But there is the Shabby Shutters colour combinations and hopefully a few tips and a few what not to do's as well. Um, join me in a few days time when I'll have the next colour combination in the range. So then we'll be looking at um, Shaded Lilac is the next one. So I um, hope you can join me for that. And of course, if you've not seen any of the others, there'll be less mistakes in the others. You can check that back on this playlist just here. Thank you, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you again really soon.